This is lesson one of the uh, body systems topic for Year 9 Science, chapter eight of the Good Science textbook. So the first part of the topic looks at homeostasis. So the word homeostasis is actually two words. Uh, homeos, which means similar, and stasis, which means roughly standing still. It basically means the state of ideal balance. Okay, homeostasis is when the body is in a balanced state. It's an essential part of our everyday lives. It's what keeps us. Uh, it's what keeps our heart rate at a constant um, uh, rate. It keeps our blood pressure constant. Uh, our body temperature is constant, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And homeostasis actually re uh, relies on the feedback system. And I'll show you how it works. So the first thing you need, first thing your body, when your body experiences a change, okay, that could be, let's say, a temperature change. So let's suppose you, all of a sudden, you walk past, let's say, a, an extremely hot object, right? Let's say a furnace. Now that goes, so your body actually re um, receives that signal via receptors. A receptor is another word for detector. Okay, so in this case, the body has thermoreceptors. Thermoreceptors, thermo means heat. Okay, thermoreceptors, so think of your skin, all over your skin, you've got these thermoreceptors. And your body sends, then sends a signal to your control center. And our body's control center is the brain. Okay, our brain. And it does this via nerves. Okay, nerves are like electrical cables. Okay, electrical cables. Okay, communication um, passages, uh, passageways. And your brain will then send a signal to what's called effectors. Effectors are basically things which... Um, cause something to happen. Let's say, um, or in this case, it'll be, let's say, your sweat glands. So sweat glands. Sweat glands are like storage units for sweat. And that will trigger the response of sweating. That'll cause you to sweat. And sweating is a good thing, actually. Many people think sweating is a bad thing. No, it's a good thing because it cools down your body. Body temperature cools down. You can even use a thermometer in real time and just take a look at what happens as you're sweating. Your body temperature gradually drops. It goes back to what's called equilibrium, okay? The state of around 37 degrees Celsius. That's the ideal state. That's, that's homeostasis. I should also mention um, temperature is an example of a stimulus. Stimulus is anything which causes, uh, is a source of change, okay? It could be temperature, it could be pressure, etc., etc., or even light as well. Okay, and sweating, that's your response. Okay, so it might look like a lot to take in for this, from this chart, but it's basically straightforward. I'll um, reiterate, it's just a change. So you walk past a furnace, let's say, your body experiences a temperature change, a temperature increase, and it detects it via receptors all over your body. Those receptors send um, a signal to your brain, and your brain, via nerves, your brain then sends a signal to effectors, in this case sweat glands, and that triggers a sweating response. This is actually called the stimuli response model. Okay, because the stimulus results in your body responding to that change. And this is also called a negative feedback. In this case here, it's called a negative feedback loop. Reason being is because the body's responding to something that's negative happening that's happening to it in a negative way, which is an increase in temperature. Whereas positive feedback is basically when the body doesn't respond to a change. Okay, so in this case, it's a negative feedback loop. Your body is responding uh, to the change, which is increase in temperature via sweating.